Our problem is to sketch the graph of the ellipse given by 4x squared plus 16y squared plus 24x minus 32y minus 12 equals 0. The first part of our solution is to put our equation in standard form as shown. First, we will group our x's and y's together and move the 12 to the other side of the equation. We are able to factor out a 4 for our x's and a 16 for our y's to get 4 times x squared plus 6x plus 16 times y squared minus 2y equals 12. To put our equation in standard form, our fractions need to be squared, so we will need to complete the squares. We can do this by taking our 6, dividing it by 2, and squaring it to get 9, and by taking our negative 2, dividing it by 2, and squaring it to get 1, and adding these to be squared. Whatever we add to the left side, we must also add to the right side. So distributing the 4 and the 16, we get 4 times 9 and 16 times 1 to our 12. So we are left with 4 times x plus 3 squared plus 16 times y minus 1 squared equals 64. To get our equation equal to 1, we will divide both sides by 64. We can split our fractions up, and then we can simplify 4 over 64 since this is also equal to 1 over 16. We can also simplify 16 over 64 since this is equal to 1 over 4. So putting our equation into standard form, we get x plus 3 squared over 16 plus y minus 1 squared over 4 is equal to 1. To start plotting our graph, we need to find the center of the ellipse. We can see here that our h is equal to negative 3 and our k is equal to 1, so our center of our ellipse will be equal to negative 3 comma 1. Next, we need to figure out a and b since these will determine our vertices. For a, we get 4, so we will be going left and right 4 units. And for b, we get 2, so we will be going up and down 2 units. And now we can sketch our ellipse. If needed, we could also find the foci of our ellipse by finding c, or the square root of a squared minus b squared. This will be plotted on our longest axis, or on this set case, our x-axis, on either sides of our center. By plugging in our values, we get the square root of 12, or around 3.46 on either side of our center. And with that, our ellipse is finished.